what's up everyone, I am GamerGeorge98, welcoming you back to my playthrough for Sonic Generations on the Xbox 360. So in the last episode, we completed the challenge gates for Green Hill Zone, Chemical Plan and Sky Sanctuary, and then we faced off against the Death Egg Robot with Classic Sonic, and now we're going to continue on and move into the Dreamcast era as we continue on to Speed Highway. So if you want to keep seeing more of this playthrough, please show your support down below by smashing that like button as it really helps out a bunch. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So yeah, this is the era that I grew up with when it comes to Sonic games. Like the first, one of the first Sonic games I got for consoles was like Sonic Adventure DX and then I had Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Heroes. So yeah, this is where, how, well, this is where I grew up with Sonic. I wasn't into the classic games to start with because, well, I never, I didn't own any of the old consoles and that. And well, actually, fun fact about the older games, it makes probably them feel really old, is my parents actually played Sonic 1 when they borrowed a friend's Sega Mega Drive, which is really interesting, so yeah, it's just a little piece of uh, fun trivia about my background. <laughs> always, well, not always been into gaming, but yeah, I have, but good about my parents. Um, so yeah, this is Speed Highway with Classic Sonic. Not too much to really say here. Um... I'm surprised I'm actually not dead yet because this stage in the past has sometimes given me a little bit of trouble, but I'm actually not doing too bad, which is surprising. Let's go up here in the red middle. Oh, right when I say that, I might fall off. I mean, I haven't died, so that's a start. It's just falling off, which is a terrible ride. And then come up here. Right, let's go. Oh god. I should not just blind jump like that because I could easily fall for my death. And I have I only have zero lives, I just realised that. So if I had died, that would have been a game over. And um, that is one thing I am definitely tr going to try not to have in this playthrough is a game over because that would be really embarrassing. Oh crap. Yeah. This way. Yeah, sorry if I'm not commentating that much. I'm just trying to concentrate on not dying, really. Oh, and there we go. And that's the goalpost. So yeah, going by the time, considering how fast I went through it, I'm surprised at how quick I managed to go through it. And yes, the fact we didn't die, we got ourselves an S rank, which I'm really surprised about, considering this stage is not one of my favourites with Classic Sonic. So... Right, let's... Uh, Move on to modern Sonic. I got four red medals in that. I'm surprised. Yeah, as I said in the previous episodes, I'm probably not gonna completely 100% this. I'll try and collect as many red medals as I can during the stages, but I'm probably not gonna 100% get all the red medals and complete all the challenge gates. I mean, if you guys all want to see extra videos with um, like the challenge gates especially then tell me down below if you think I should consider doing that anyways we're gonna now move on to speed highway act 2 lightspeed dash with Jake tutorial no 
God, see where that video was so, where that last stage was so quick. I'm only at the like five minute mark with recording. So this video is actually probably going to be pretty short, which is a change because <laughs> I usually take forever. So here we go. Speed highway. Act two. Go on the top pathway because I can. Uh, well, I was on the top pathway for like two minutes and then I fell off. Like speed dash actually worked with me once. Skadoosh! This way. Oh, God. That did not work out well. Can I actually just stand up on the railing? Yeah. Nearly. I was gonna say, if I was quick, if I was clever enough, here we go. No. Doesn't matter. Anyways, let's carry on. I was trying to get that red medal, but as I said, it's not gonna be a 100% playthrough, so just getting through the stages is the most important thing. So let's try and land on here. Yeah, let's go running down the building. This was one of the best bits about Speed Highway in the original was that we run down the building. It's this way, nice little shortcut. Oops. How I've not played this game for a while. <laughs> oh, I could have tried to at least stay on the top route, but route route, but it doesn't matter. Oh god, oh. God, I screwed over there, so let's try and not fail at platforming. Trying to get on that top pathway again, but that failed miserably. Oh my god! Ha! That didn't happen. Okay, so we are back after that enormous fail. I don't know what happened there. I tried. I did this bit. Yep. Whoa! That is exactly what happened last time, and it just happened again. I have. I'm so annoyed. So I think easiest thing to do: just not boost along this bit. There we go. Finally. Yeah, I can't even do that. And I oh, ran into the next guy. Again. Where am I going? Okay. Here we go. Finally. Round to the goal ring. So yeah, definitely not gonna get an S rank for this. Hopefully I can get an A rank. Not even an A rank. Wow. And look how close I am. Look how close I am to that A rank. That is so infuriating. That is kind of ridiculous. Okay, but anyways, there we go. Fully unlocking Speed Highway. Hmm. I 
until Mama. I'll be right back when I left. Okay. Just gonna say this right now. I think the Chow are absolutely adorable. That was one of the things I loved about the Sonic Adventure games was the Chow Gardens, especially Sonic Adventure 2. That Chow Garden was great. Oh, and yeah. Anyways, after all that shenanigans, we are going to wrap this video up here. So thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please go ahead and smash that like button. And yeah, in the next episode, we are going to be heading to the next air stage in the Dreamcast era, which if you can't tell just from that, is City Escape. So uh, yeah, see you all and see you all next time and have a good day.